Hello guys and welcome. I'm Coach Frame and I'll be guiding you today throughout our year of fitness training. Last week we started with our process of change and we spoke about first of seven P's in that process of change and we spoke more about pressure and how the pressure can be a good thing and that it's even welcome when we want to do some change. We also gave you a couple of insights and quality tips that I won't dwell too much today. You can go to our last week's session and check it out. But the most important thing that you should know to be able to install some change and walk from one point to second point, there needs to be some kind of urgency and some kind of pressure. Because if it's not, we're not gonna get outside of that comfort zone and we're gonna be staying with same types of behavior. Today I will speak more about second in this seven P's of change, which is pressure. Pressure, sorry, process. Process, pressure is number one. Process is also very important to realize that throughout our path of change, that's not a single line. That's not a straight line from one point to second point. We just go up. It's a process with many ups and downs. For instance, Let's say that you, you make a resolution that you don't want to eat any more sweets and there comes a weekend, you have a birthday party and there's pizza and, or other cakes and you go and you dig into that. To realize that this is a process with up and downs, that there will be some relapses, you can approach the situation in a way of, oh my God, my process of change is done, I'm not good enough, I'm bad and just kill yourself. Or you can just say, Okay, this happened because for the last five years I was killing myself in sweets. It's very hard to stay compliant with not eating sweets. And this is just a small relapse. Let's forget about it. Let's start from tomorrow. Not from the beginning, but let's try to be more compliant moving forward. So realize that any kind of process of change is exactly that. A path, a process that will last a longer period of time with some ups and downs. When you realize that, then that pressure that you already have will be slightly less hard or intense and it's also going to be positive. It will drive you towards that change instead of feeling that you're under pre huge pressure that you need to perform because of expectations. With that, we're going to now start with our session. You don't need any equipment. We're just going to continue our progress from the last week. So we're still in that kind of baby-like movements. We're more speaking about our spine health getting our pillar in nice, stable and neutral position so that we can control that and then control our movement. And at the end, we're gonna have the same finisher as last week, just to see how we're progressing on this path. So for the start, I want you to lay down on your back and we're gonna do some spine mobility. We always go from center towards extremities. From here, we're gonna elevate one leg up, move it left to right, keeping our shoulders pin the ground. We're gonna do five times. This is two, three, two more, four, last one, and five. Switching to other leg. Last one, and five. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with feet being completely straight, or at least almost straight, with your knees slightly bent. So same position, we go left to right, trying to keep our shoulders pinned to the ground. Three, two more. Four and five. Good. Switching to the other side. Three, four, and five. Good. Now we're going to put our feet together 
put our knees together as well and do the same thing. We're gonna move it left to right and in a slightly faster fashion. Left to right, again, our shoulders are pinned. With this, we're just adding some extra rotation in our hips and pelvis, getting our low back spine as ready, as mobile as possible. Last rep, right to left, and relax both legs on the ground. From here, now we're gonna alternate lift one leg, straight leg up, down, and then switching to other leg. It's very important to highlight that and emphasize, don't do it in fast fashion, don't swing it up, control the whole traje trajectory and range of motion up and down. So hands on the ground, we lift one leg up and down. Up and down, that's one. We do five reps in total. Two. Three. Four, two more reps. Last rep, and five. Now we're gonna do one combination of straight leg raise and also lateral kick to include both posterior chain activity and mobilization as well with our spine and low back mobilization. So we're gonna do straight leg raise across the body and back to laying starting position. So we're gonna do five times one side and then we're gonna to switch to other. I'm starting with my right leg. So up, sideways, down. One, two, three, four, and five. Switching to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. This ends up the small mobilization part, our spine, low back, and entry part of our session. Now we're gonna continue with that baby development. We're gonna follow that uh, development kinesiology to really get back into the movement quality and positioning that we were used to control, but we lost with our growing up and just with sedentary lifestyle. So we're gonna do something we like to call baby flow. So for the start, we're gonna be on our backs, hold with our hands, our feet, and just try to take it long deep breaths as we talked last time, and relax your hips. Your glutes should be pinned to the ground, but of course, if you don't have enough mobility and enough range of motion in your hips, they will be hanging up a little bit in the air. So don't worry, just keep breathing. One more breathing. Good. From here, we're gonna now alternating, extend one leg up and down. Other leg, down. Try to have your whole spine on the ground relaxed. Just go up and down with your legs. This is happy baby position. One last rep. And relax your hips. Good. We mobilized our whole hip region, low spine. I was just gonna activate it with two more exercises being upright, getting into that movement quality segment and skill acquisition. And then we move into our movement quality segment. So we're gonna do reverse lunge, but we're gonna do it with rotation of upper body. So I'm gonna reach back with my left leg and I will rotate my right hand behind like I'm giving something to my friend. So reach, rotate, and up. Five reps. Back, rotate, up. Two, 
three, four, last one, and five. Good. Let's repeat the same thing with the other leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Next exercise, we're going to do a high step reach with rotations, but behind leg now, instead of you know, like in reverse arm being flexed, it will be completely straight. So I want you to go into high step position and reach over the front leg with rotation of upper hand. Stand up three times each side. Back, reach, rotate, up. Back, reach, rotate, and up. Doing the same thing on the other side. Back, reach, rotate, up. One. Two. And three. And with that, we're gonna we're fin finishing with our warm up. Just a small preparation. As we said, this is a year of fitness. We start slow. This is not about going super intense. This is about slowly improving and increasing our capacity and intensity over the 365 days. Next set of exercises, as usual, I will demonstrate, tell you how many reps, and then you're gonna do many rounds on my instructions. We have four exercises. First one is a dead bug. So we're gonna go into seated position, bring our feet up in a way that they're facing the ceiling with our knees slightly open towards outside. From here, we're gonna lift both hands in the air and we need to alternate lower opposite leg and hand. So left leg with right hand, but thinking that there is a mop behind the low back, you're gonna squeeze it into the ground. So try to pin and glue your low back to the, to the ground and lower opposite hand and leg. Then we switch to other side. There shouldn't be any gaps in your low back and between low back and ground. Start position, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're gonna be doing eight reps with each side. So in total, 16 lowerings of opposite hand and leg. Second exercise, we're gonna do other pillar bridge so we still stay on the ground. Lateral pillar bridge with rotation. Last time we had a show lever and we were doing some oscillation to prepare our body for anticipatory posture stability. Today we're gonna to include some hip mobility but also the whole pillar control. So we're still in this low, short lever position. We're gonna extend the upper leg, but from here we're gonna to rotate towards inside using together our shoulder and our upper hip while keeping the lower part, lower hip, and our lower elbow, shoulder activated. Rotate, back. Rotate, back. Rotate, and back. After you finish with one side, you go to the other side, and again, you do eight reps on each side. Third exercise will be reverse lunge. Last time we were combining reverse lunge with nice standing triple flexion position where we really wanted to challenge our balance. Today we're going to challenge it in a different way. That's a very important thing to prepare our body. It's always to change and play with different types of stimuli, but always activating the same segment or same capability. So when we're going to be doing our reverse lunge, I'll face you like this so that you see better. Usually we have better balancing points and of course touch touch with our ground. But today I want you to when you reach back from behind to put the behind leg exactly in line with front leg. So we don't want to have wide stance, we're gonna have very narrow stance and from here go down and stand up. So when you reach back, reach directly behind the front leg, go down and up. 
And of course, from here, we're going to try to keep our balance in check. You're going to do eight reps on one side, as well with eight reps on the other side. Last exercise, the same as what we did last time, which is going to be push-up to shoulder tap. So starting position, you can do it either from your knees or regular push-up. We do slow push-up down, up, touch opposite shoulder one, opposite shoulder two, and then we repeat the push-up. Important thing here to notice, number one, positioning. Spread your fingers. The more they spread it, the better the control and stability of our body will be. Imagine that someone is pulling you by your hair. Don't let your head to die down. And number three, when you're shoulder tapping, before you elevate one hand, push strongly with other hand into the ground and that will give you enough stability to be able to do it without swinging your hips for too much. So these four exercises, dead bug, then we do lateral pillar bridge with rotation, reverse lunge, in line, and number four, push up to shoulder tap. I want you to do three to four rounds depending on your capabilities. Everything we do, we do with eight reps. So eight reps dead bug each side, eight reps rotational lateral pillar bridge, eight reps each side reverse lunge, and of course, eight push ups with eight and eight in total 16 shoulder taps. Now that you've finished with your main part of the session, as usual, we have our finisher, which is gonna be the same as last week so that you can see directly connection and how you're progressing while following our programming. So we have two exercises done in the four segments, reverse lunge and a brain, brain dancer. So we, we're gonna first do 20 reps on one side. So we're gonna do reverse lunge, 20 reps on the right leg going back and up. Then we go down and we do five plus five Brain dancer. So we want to establish a nice bare position, which is quadruple position with elevated knees in the air. From here, we rotate by keeping our hips and shoulder active and back. Rotate and back. So we're trying also to teach our body to move simultaneously our shoulders with our hips. Five reps one side, five reps other side. Immediately we go up we do five, 20 reps of reverse lunge, and then we finish it again with five plus five brain dancer. Try to clock it, try to record the time so we can track your progress throughout the whole period of this small micro cycle. That being said, we finished with our session. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure that you check out our other programming or reach out directly if you have any questions via email or even commenting below this video and we're going to make sure to be there for you to help you in any way possible. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye!